Hi, you are welcome on the Continuity Channel. Today I will discuss about the gland packing, mechanical seal, bearing and bearing housing. Let's start. At first I shall tell you about the sealing of the centrifugal pump. Sealing is provided to prevent the leakage through the clearance between the shaft and the casing. Now, types of sealing. There are two types of sealing. First gland packing and second mechanical seal. Now, I tell you about the gland packing. Gland packing. If the aim is solely to prevent leakage from the machine, it is effective to use a seal material known as gland packing on the shaft. However, a gland packing tightly wound around the shaft, oppose the motion of the shaft, which leads shaft wear. In this figure, you are looking at her gland packing. In the gland packing, asbestos, graphite or teflon filled asbestos are used. Now, advantages, low initial cost, skill requirement low, good for non-hazardous liquid can be used for static and rotary equipments. Disadvantages Frequent attention required Rapid wear of shaft or sleeve Not suitable for high temperature and high pressure application Uncontrolled power consumption Low life Slight leakage always present Now, I tell you about the mechanical seal. Look at the figure. This is very important part of the centrifugal pump. A mechanical seal is installed on the shaft to prevent the leakage through the clearance between the pump casing and the shaft. Mechanical seal has two mating rings. A rotary ring on the shaft and a stationary ring in the gland. The rotary ring rotates with the shaft and stationary ring remains stationary in the gland. If there is no clearance between them then they will start rubbing each other and damage each other. So, to protect from the damage, clearance in the order of micrometers is maintained between them. The surface where they rub against each other, they are referred to as seal face. The seal face where the stationary ring and the rotary ring rub against each other are the most important portion which act as the barrier to the liquid. If the clearance is too small, the friction increases and oppose the shaft motion and result in seal breakage. If the clearance is too large, the liquid will leak. So it is necessary to control the clearance in the order of micrometers to prevent leakage and seal damage. The clearance between these two rings maintained approx 0.5 to 2.5 micrometer. Now, I tell you about the components of the mechanical seal. There are various components of the mechanical seal as follows. Gland, sleeve, rotary mating ring, stationary mating ring, or ring. Compression unit, rotary assembly, spring, set screw, retainer. The material of which they are made is given in front of them. Look at this figure. This is the details explanation of the mechanical seal. Now, Know about the advantages of the mechanical seal. 10 to 15% power saving. It handles wide range of liquids including acids, salts and rough particles. No wear on shaft sleeve. Long working life. Now, disadvantages of mechanical seal. High initial cost. It require more space than glad packing. Now, I tell you about the bearings. Bearings are used to support the hydraulic loads imposed on the impeller, the mass of impeller and shaft, and the loads due to the shaft coupling or belt drive. In a simple way we can say that the main function of the bearing is to bear the load, both axially and radially, acting on the shaft and keeps the shaft in straight alignment. A little misalignment can cause failure. So it is important to select the proper bearing for the appropriate application. Here, you can see the arrangement of the bearings in the bearing housing. There are two types of load acts on the pump shaft. First axial load and second radial load. Axial load. 
The total force produced in the axial direction on a pump shaft is called axial load and is caused by the pressure difference between the front and rear end of the impeller due to the hydrostatic force acting on the impeller in the suction side. To balance this load double angular contact ball bearing, double tapper roller bearing, spherical roller thrust bearing are used. Look at the figure. There are double angular contact ball bearing, double tapper roller bearing and spherical roller thrust bearing. Now, radial load. Radial load acts in the perpendicular direction of the shaft axis. It is due to the unequal velocity of the liquid flowing through the casing. The unequal fluid velocity results in a non-uniform distribution of pressure acting on the circumference of the impeller. The radial load is most influenced by the design of the pump casing. To balance this load cylindrical roller bearing, spherical roller bearing, tapper roller bearing set is used. Look at the figure. There are cylindrical roller bearing, spherical roller bearing and tapper roller bearing. Now, bearing housing. Bearing housing is an assembly designed to make it easy to install bearings and shaft. While protecting bearings, extending their operating life and simplifying maintenance. It is made up of grey cast iron, spheroidal graphite cast iron and cast steel. That's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand well. If you have any doubt then tell me in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.